A report by an international human rights group has found that gay Iraqi men are being persecuted in an organized campaign. Human Rights Watch says 90 homosexuals have been killed since the beginning of this year. The report says the killings and torture are the work of Shia militias who single out men suspected of being gay. According to the group, attackers have invaded homes, kidnapped men, and then left their bodies in the streets. Earlier, I spoke with Hossein Ali Zadeh in New York about the contents of this report. He works for the International Gay and Lesbian Human Rights Commission and has conducted interviews with Iraqis about that persecution. I began by asking him how the threat, how grave this threat is. Every day as a gay man, a gay Iraqi man, you are facing the danger of being killed, kidnapped, harassed, discriminated against. And this has been going on for a number of years, at least since the invasion of uh, Iraq by the United States and the Allied forces in 2003. This situation has been going on. And as you mentioned in, re in this report, uh, the primary source of threat comes from uh, the al-Mahdi army, the Shiite militias. They are very well organized and they not only do that through their own uh, militias, but also preach hatred against uh, members of sexual minorities in Iraq. Well, who, that gets to another point. Who exactly is inciting these attacks? Well, it is, as I mentioned, it is mainly religious based, but also part of a culture that is very conservative and understands relationship between um, the opposite sexes does not approve of homosexuality. Unfortunately, the Arab media are not open to discuss the concept of homosexuality in general. Um, and uh, when it comes to homosexuality, most people get their information from either hearsays or from the preachers in mosques. And therefore, when people hear in the mosque that homosexuality is a Western conspiracy against the society, they tend to believe it. And um, some of the people who actually go after gay people believe they are doing a service to the society by killing unwanted, corrupt members of the society. So, so that's one of the the, the conspiracy theories is that uh, homosexuality is a Western plot to undermine Iraqi morals or something of that nature? Unfortunately, and that's one of the things that we've been working on at the International Gay and Lesbian Human Rights Commission to uh, make people in the region to work with our allies, uh, some religious leaders even, to uh, promote another understanding of homosexuality, which basically says that 10% of people are born homosexual. It's not, it's not the fact that people convert to homosexuality, or it's not the thing that you can choose, it's who you are, and right. therefore people should recognize that and deal with it as if this is something that belongs to their society and their culture as well.